the mystery of the Cottingley Fairies, and covering the truth. The Cottingley Fairies were a set of early 20th century pictures that were supposed to depict fairies and other paranormal creatures. The images created a sensation at the time and spurred a discussion over the existence of fairies and other mythical beings that has persisted to this day. Elsie Wright and Frances Griffiths, two young girls from the Yorkshire village of Cottingley, claimed to have seen fairies in their home's garden in 1917, which is when the legend of the Cottingley fairies officially began. They captured the fairies on camera and shared them with their family and friends. Yet no one took them seriously, and the girls were written off as fantasists. Their claims that they captured fairies in their garden on camera generated a stir and sparked a discussion regarding the possibility of paranormal beings. Elsie Wright was born into a loving and supportive family, with her father Arthur Wright as a civil engineer and her mother Polly Wright being a housewife. She had an affinity for art from a young age and displayed immense talent in painting and drawing. She was described as a shy, introverted young lady who valued her relationships with her family and the outdoors. In Cottingley, she grew up surrounded by beauty which likely inspired the many works of art that she created throughout her life. On March 17, 1907, Frances Griffiths was born in Birmingham. Frances frequently traveled to Cottingley with her mother since her parents, Arthur and Polly Griffiths, had a friendship with the Wrights. Frances was renowned for her outgoing nature, passion for dancing, and love of music. Elsie and Frances claimed to have seen fairies dancing in their garden during the summer of 1917. The sisters were convinced that they had spotted real fairies and decided to take pictures of them as proof. In July 1917 they took two images which showed Frances surrounded by what seemed to be four small, winged figures with pointed ears, human-like faces, and dresses made of leaves. Several people were doubtful, but Elsie and Frances insisted that the images were real and that they had actually seen fairies. Further pictures were taken, and those were shown to family, and friends who became convinced that they were real. Several people were doubtful, but Elsie and Frances insisted that the images were real and that they had actually seen fairies. Further pictures were taken, and those were shown to family, and friends who became convinced that they were authentic. Elsie and Frances' efforts to prove the existence of fairies was met with much skepticism. These images were then presented to a family friend who belonged to the Theosophical Society, an organization that embraced supernaturalism, in 1920. This trusted confidant had faith in their photographs and brought them before the president of the society for evaluation. After careful consideration, he determined that these pictures could potentially be genuine and shared them with various media outlets so that they could be seen by a wider audience. The images of the fairies created a sensation, sparking intense debate and discussion over their veracity. Many people believed that the photographs were definitive proof of the existence of fairies in our world. Skeptics argued that they had been fabricated as hoaxes, while spiritualists and supernaturalists were particularly delighted by them, and viewed it as further evidence for their beliefs. The photographs heightened interest in fairy folklore even more, which already had a passionate following worldwide. Arthur Conan Doyle was a prominent figure in the spiritualist movement during 1917, when two photographs of the Cottingley fairies were taken. He is best known for creating the renowned detective Sherlock Holmes and believed in spiritual connections with the dead as well as other paranormal occurrences. His influence on this story was significant, as it caused people to be more open-minded about supernatural events. The belief that fairies could exist helped shape public opinion and made it possible for these images to become world-famous. Conan Doyle's support of spiritualism also encouraged others to explore their own beliefs about such phenomena and take part in similar activities. Conan Doyle was amazed the moment he heard about the Cottingley fairies, as he had always believed in fairies and thought that this could be a great chance to prove their existence. He saw the pictures of Elsie and Frances with fairies as proof of his belief and was so delighted by them that he offered to help them any way possible. He even wrote to them expressing his joy and excitement about the photos. Conan Doyle wanted to use these photographs as evidence for his belief in fairies, which is why he got so interested in this story when it first came out. 
Conan Doyle was adamant that the pictures he used to support his argument for the existence of fairies were genuine. His piece published in Strand magazine caused such a commotion that many began to question their authenticity, yet Conan Doyle remained steadfast and defended them against those who doubted him. He truly believed the photographs were real and he went out of his way to protect them from detractors by providing evidence that supported their validity. The Cottingley Fairy scandal had a huge negative effect on Conan Doyle's reputation. His reputation as a famous author was already well established and he was widely respected for his works such as The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes and The Lost World, but some people were quick to mock him for believing in the authenticity of the photographs taken by Elsie Wright and Francis Griffiths. Despite many leading spiritualists vouching for the truthfulness of these photos, his belief in them caused people to call him gullible and ridicule him for his credulity. This controversy over the Cottingley fairies left many to question whether they could trust anything else that Conan Doyle wrote or said in future. Conan Doyle persisted in his conviction in fairies despite the criticism he faced, and he utilized the Cottingley photos to back up this claim. He even defended the images and made the case for fairies' existence in a book titled The Coming of the Fairies. Elsie and Francis led tranquil lives after the Cottingley fairies' affair. Elsie married in 1925, gave birth to two children, and kept up her love of the arts. In the 1950s, Frances immigrated to South Africa, after her return to England, she worked as a nurse there. At the age of 86, Elsie Wright passed away on March 8, 1988. At the age of 79, Frances Griffiths passed away on July 13, 1986. Elsie and Francis were close friends throughout their lives despite the controversy that surrounding their images, and their families continued to insist that they had indeed seen fairies. For many years, there was a heated discussion about whether the pictures were real. Elsie and Francis insisted that they had had seen fairies in their yard and that the pictures were real. Yet it wasn't until 1983 that they officially acknowledged the photos were fabricated. They admitted that they had utilized cardboard cutouts that they had photographed in the yard, including fairies and other items. The discussion around the Cottingley fairies has persisted despite Elsie and Francis' admission that the photos were staged. Despite this confession however, there are still those who believe that these photos showed something real beyond our current understanding of reality, either way it's certainly a fascinating story. Some skeptics still contend that the images are real and that Elsie and Francis simply admitted to fabricating them in order to avoid humiliation or to protect the Fae. Even today, the Cottingley fairies are a fascinating and debatable subject. The images continue to catch people's imaginations all across the world and have influenced numerous pieces of literature, art, and film. Although though it is now widely acknowledged that the images were staged, they still serve as a reminder of people's continued interest in the paranormal and belief in the reality of mystical beings like fairies. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to Connect Paranormal. This will allow us to make more videos. Thanks for watching.